Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time since I've sat down and filmed like a sit down chatty video so I'm looking forward to this one. Um, as you all enjoyed my last Dyson video so much I thought I would show you how I'm using it at the moment to do more of a smooth like sleek straight look um, which I've been doing quite a lot recently and also share with you some products I've been using to help my hair grow really quickly and keep it like nice and healthy and that kind of thing so like my favorite um, hair products as well so yeah as you can probably see like from my last Dyson video my hair has grown a lot and I've been preferring to wear it more straight um, but I've been finding the new Dyson is so so good to help give me that kind of straight look and I don't think there's that many videos showing kind of how you achieve that um, so I thought I would show you so as you can see I've washed my hair I'm gonna share with you my favorite products that I've been using for my hair care routine um, because I get a lot of questions in general life and online as well about my hair so I thought I'd start first by showing you my favorite kind of treatments or masks if you want and the two brands I'm just gonna say off the bat the two brands that I use are Whey and Olaplex and I find that my hair responds to these brands the best just like these two brands they are more pricey but i do find they are so worth the price they give you the results and yeah my hair has never been healthier than it is at the moment so it's definitely worth investing in your hair care um so my probably favorite mask is the olaplex number three now the only thing with this is it can be overused i feel if your hair is in good condition you don't need to use this like every time you wash it so I kind of alternate between these two so I do also use the way this is the fine to medium hair treatment mask which I really like as well this one I use before shampooing or washing my hair so you just have to get it a little bit wet um, kind of damp and then run it through and leave it. I usually like sit in the bath for like half an hour, leave it in and then shower and wash my hair as normal. Whereas this one you have to shampoo your hair first because you have to apply it to clean hair. So I shampoo it, I apply this, you only have to leave it for five to ten minutes and then condition and everything as normal so yeah these are my two favorites I will link all these products down below for you as well and try and find any codes for you and things like that to save a bit of money as well and to my favorite shampoo which is from way again the medium hair shampoo I absolutely love this I also have the detox shampoo from way which if it's been like a couple of washes or if I've used like a lot of product in my hair or if I've been to the gym and got super sweaty or anything from a workout then I'll use that as my first um, my first shampoo and then I'll use this as my second cleanse because I do always double cleanse with my shampoo so usually I'll just use this one as a double cleanse you only need a tiny amount of shampoo lather it in your hands give it a good like scrub through your scalp and then repeat that and then I use my conditioner. Conditioner I use the one in the same range so the medium hair as well from the way. I find this really really good at keeping my hair nice and conditioned and healthy so it does just keep it nice and hydrated as well. So then once I've washed it I apply these two products from Olaplex through my hair so I use a good squeeze of this one the Olaplex number no. six the bond smoother I've got it upside down because I've not got a lot left so it's easier to get it out and then I use about 12 to 15 drops of the Olaplex oil which is the number no. seven so these two I put them both at the same time rub into my hands and just run it through mainly the ends and the lengths but I do put it a tiny bit near the top as well just because I find it smooths my hair and leaves it nice and um, 
smooth and sleek which is kind of the look that I like so yeah and I definitely think investing in a good oil is definitely going to really help with the health and condition of your hair and help it grow quick as well. I really like this one because it has heat protectant in it as well so it does help with that. Um, so yeah they're a really nice combination. Then finally I also then after a couple of days I'll spray the Whey leave-in conditioner into my hairbrush and just run it through the ends just to give it a little bit of a refresh and keep it nice and hydrated and smooth. And if I'm going to do any kind of slip back hair, if it's getting to like day three, day four of not washing it, I often slip my hair back and do like a bun or a ponytail. Um, I'll use the Way Matte Pomade and I'm sure you've heard about this stuff but it's so good. It smells amazing and it's so good at giving you that super sleek look as well so yeah I really like this. So yeah these are all my favourite hair products to use to keep my hair in good condition, nice and healthy and it's really helped it grow quick as well like I say like people just in my day to day life say to me like oh my gosh I can't believe how quick your hair has grown so I thought I won't be a gatekeeper I'll share the products I use and see if it can help anyone else so yeah my goal is to grow my hair um I don't want it like too long but I definitely want it a bit longer than it is now still obviously as well regular trims I get my hair trimmed regularly I just get a blunt cut really and some um face framing as well you'll see kind of once I'm drying it and everything but yeah regular trims obviously help as well to keep your hair in good condition. Okay so I'm gonna go into the styling of my hair now and I'm using my Dyson Airwrap. This is the new version that came out this year. I absolutely love this. This is probably like the best money I've ever spent on anything. It's so worth the money. Um, even if like I said you don't use the curling barrels because I know they are probably the most controversial part of this machine because I know not everyone can get the curls to stay and stuff. I've never had an issue with it, they always stay in my hair. Um, but for me personally I just prefer a more sleek look so that is what I'm going to show you how I achieve today with the Dyson. I do also believe that a lot of my hair growth and health has been thanks to this as well because since I've been using the Dyson I definitely think it uses a lot less heat on your hair, it damages my hair less. So I'm going to go into drying my hair first so I always start with it on the top setting so the most fan and the highest heat and just give it a bit of a dry um, till it's like 90% dry so I'm just going to do that now. So I'm now going to remove my drying attachment but I will be popping this one back on in a minute. I'm now going to be putting on the smoothing brush and this is the firm smoothing brush so it's obviously more for like my kind of hair type where you have got more like frizzy hair that needs more taming and I just pop the heat setting down one to the medium one because the heat is actually going much more directly onto your hair with this one so I do just turn it down one um, and I keep it on the top fan setting as well. I do find with this new Dyson the smoothing brushes are a lot more effective because I think it's something to do with the new design with the airflow, it's just designed a lot better to be more strong and help with smoothing a lot better so yeah I just section my hair and do it in about three sections and just go through and make sure everything is nice and smooth down and you should see a good difference from how it looks now to once I've used the brush. So I just thought I'd stop and show you quickly after doing the top section this side the difference. This is obviously before I've used the smoothing brush on this side um, on the top layer and then this is after. So you can definitely see how much of a difference it makes in kind of taming my hair and just smoothing it down and getting it nice and sleek. 
So I'm just gonna finish this other side now. Okay, so this is my hair now after using the smoothing brush attachment. And yeah, like I said, you can definitely tell a massive difference. It just tames the frizz and makes it nice and smooth and sleek. And finally now, I'm going to show you how I use this amazing genius attachment. Um, so you just twist the top um, from the hairdryer and it switches the side to the flyaway attachment. The air comes out downwards, so towards um, where the hairdryer would have been and you literally just smooth it along your hair and it just gets rid of any little flyaways, any bits that are sticking out and just smooths your whole hair down again. So I'm gonna show you that. I will try doing one side again and show you the difference. So I'll do this side first and I keep the settings the same as well. So I just use the full fan and then the second on the heat as well. Okay, so that is this side done, and I'm just gonna go in front of the white hair and hope that you can see the difference between the top of my head there and how um, the flyaways are smoothed, and you can still even see a difference like this as well, how it's much more straightened out, smooth, and yeah, really sleek. So, I'm gonna match up the other side now as well. So this is the finished look from just using the Dyson and as you can see like this has really changed my life from someone who's always had thicker and frizzier hair it has really really changed my hair game. I do now go over and just section my hair again and just run the straightener through. So I'm just going to do that and show you the final look. So this is the final look with my straightened hair and yeah the Dyson like I say it just means that I use a lot less heat so because my hair is pretty much already straight I literally just section it off and run the straightener through really really quickly just so I'm not using too much heat on it but it does just mean that my hair then lasts and I don't then need to straighten it until I next wash it again which is amazing so yeah and hopefully you can see um the shine from the products that I've used and obviously that it's in nice like healthy condition and yeah it's definitely getting longer and hopefully it'll continue to grow nice and quick for me as well so yeah I will try and do another update soon for you and show you if I come across any new products that help and I'll show you kind of my progress with my hair growth as well um, I'm sure a lot of you are either going on a similar journey or have been on a similar journey so yeah feel free to leave a comment if there's anything you found that has helped you grow your hair remember to subscribe as i'd love to have you back for my next video and i'll see you in the next one bye